Hello and welcome to another Popper video. I'm Kelly Kais and today I'm playing Blue White Familiars with an additional splash of red. So this is Jess Guy Familiars. We're doing that off of a new land, Perilous Landscape, which uh, enters untapped. You can tap it to add a colorless mana and you can sacrifice it to search for one of the Jess Guy basics. You can also cycle it for Jess Guy mana. Fun fact, they added the cycling so that people would know what the card does instead of having to read it every time. That's funny. The next card that we're playing that's new is Thraven Charm, which is a modal spell. Uh, it can destroy an enchantment, which I do like in this metagame. Um, I always want to have an enchantment destruction in my deck. It also has deals damage equal to twice the number of creatures you control, the target creature, or exile any number of target players as graveyards. I think this is going to be useful for us in fighting the metagame, as well as nice to have a removal spell in the deck. We have Godfrey's Faithful, Familiar, Sea Oracle, Murmuring Mystic, and Moldrifter as our creatures with Arcane Mancer as well. And I decided to play the four Meeting of Minds package. I think it's just pretty strong. We could also cut on a Lorien Reveal to add an Arcane Mancer here, since I'm on 20 lands. I think I'm going to do that. I was a little bit concerned about not having enough Arcane Mancers, so we're just going to do that here. Okay. A little bit of on-the-fly stuff. And then I'm playing three Brainstorms as a way to fix my hand. Um, we're already playing 20 lands, so I hopefully we'll be able to open up good lands and then Brainstorm can fix it up. So the sideboard is Super Duper Anti-Affinity with four Dust to Dust, a Gorilla Shaman, and a Nature's Chant. We have an additional Thraven Charm, two Counter Spells, three Hydro, and three Pyroblast. Part of the reason for playing Jeskai usually is for playing Pyroblast and Gorilla Shaman in Familiars. We're going to find out if it's good enough in today's league, and I'm going to try to just jam the whole thing, even if I get dumpstered by Affinity over and over, because I think it's going to be a good learning experience. If you want to check out Sideboard Guides for Familiars, make sure to hit up the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash I would love it if you gave me a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you thought about the deck. Make sure to check out cardmarket.com, the largest seller of Magic the Gathering cards in Europe. Check out uh, that site and get it yourself these cards or whatever cards you want for your battle box and head over your LGS, and I will see you in the matches. Okay, round one. We're on the play. Um, this is odd, but I'm going to keep it. We have turn three, snap, get back, snap with Arcane Answer. And because we're on the play... We don't have to discard the hand size. All right, land has the turn. Let's see what our opponent's doing. They're on affinity. Who could have guessed? I'll play my chancery and pass the turn, picking up my island. I suppose if they play a refurbished familiar, we have to think about what we're going to discard. At this point, it's going to be the ephemerate. Plays a land. Plays a sneaky snacker. Okay. I think I want to actually snap the snack. <laughs> snap it a snacka. And then I'm going to play my Murmuring Mystic. And I don't think that they can kill it. Um, they would have to have cast down right now. And then after that, we can uh, do some stuff. Brainstorm can fix our hand. We can save it with Ephemerate. And let's see. They have a refurbished familiar. We'll discard Ephemerate here. I have a Perilous Landscape. So let's play that and then brainstorm back Ash Barons and another Arcane Answer. And then I'll just go ahead and attack you. I wonder if I should play the familiar here. I don't think so. They Reckoners bargain away their refurbished familiar so they can get it back later on. Plays a Great Furnace and a Nile Spell Bomb. All right. We're going to sacrifice this, grabbing an island. I mean, an island. That's the turn. That's not great. So I can play the Arcane Answer, and then if they don't uh, use it on their. Um, all right, well, I'm just going to play the Arcane Answer. And then float a white. Hopefully, they crack it when it enters the battlefield. Okay, they didn't. We're going to try to get back Ephemerate. Wow, they just let that resolve. Okay, we will Ephemerate. Get back the Brainstorm. I don't know why they let that resolve. Maybe they were really focused on the value. Now they take two. Okay. They've got an island, so they copied my deck. Breath weapon. 
and plays a familiar. Let's get rid of the island. Pretty annoying. Okay, well, we can just commemorate the, the murmuring mystic. I'm looking for medium minds so I can start drawing some cards. Brainstorm, counterspell, mold drifter, snap. I'll put back ephemerate, put back counterspell. Then we can go land, play the familiar, snap this thing, untap, and then drifter ephemerate drawing into my counterspell. Drifter resolves, they only have one uh, breath weapon in the deck. Draw, ephemerate the mole drifter. More birds are coming out. Can we compete? That was a sick brainstorm for sure. That helped me set, set me up pretty well. Okay, ephemerate's gonna resolve. We draw two cards, we draw Meaning of Minds and Thraven Charm. So I think I want to save the Meaning of Minds. Maybe not. We don't know any attackers right now. We definitely went off. <laughs> and later on, if they uh, try to Blood Fountain, we have the Thraven Charm. So that actually could be pretty sweet. And we can kill literally anything with the Thraven Charm right now. Wow. Okay. 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 Are you going to cast your uh, familiar? Yeah, I guess what? Not today. Oh, they thought better of it. <laughs> Plays a land. We have one. We have a ton of. They're going to exile my graveyard right now. Okay. That seems a little premature because I still have the ephemerate in, re in exile. What are you going to cast? They're attempting to cast um, probably a mirror enforcer, but they don't have enough mana because this is not an artifact. It's just not working out right now. They could have done that if they had done it previously. If they had done that before cracking the spell bomb, it would have worked. Okay. So now we're probably free to just play this meeting of minds. Draw some cards, make some birds. Okay. We draw familiar and faithful. So let's see. We are going to ephemerate the mold drifter and draw more cards. It discards sneaky snacker. That means that they're going to get that snacks back. <laughs> It's just fun to say all these things. I don't like affinity, but I like saying sneaky snacker. Draw some cards. Okay. Uh, play familiar. Play meeting of minds. I mean, I have too much in my hand. I'm probably just going a little bit over the top. Let's go. I guess we don't need to cast the arcane answer right now. We can play the Seagate Oracle. Ghostly flicker. Okay. And meaning of minds. I think I'd rather have the ghosty flicker. So let's play Came Answer. Get back the meaning of minds. And attack for a lot. They can play their um, refurbished familiar, and I will say whatever, and I'll discard an extra God Pharaoh's Faithful. I also have infinite birds right now. If they uh, don't represent the ability to kill my arcane answer, I just make infinite birds and attack them. So far, Thraven Charm just chilling in my hand, waiting to be used. Unfortunately, it's not not ready, but I'm enjoying making birds. Plays a seat of the Synod. I think, uh, okay. We're going to respond by casting a Medium Minds. Making birds. Okay. And then I will go ahead and discard a Familiar, a Faithful. And we win. Very nice. Okay, post board. This is pretty easy. We want all the dust to dust. We want the nature's chant. We want the gorilla shaman. Gonna trim first on the counter spell and the loose focus. I think murmuring mystic follows my plan. I think I'm gonna bring in the Thraben charm and cut on the god pharaoh's faithfuls. And this could be a mistake, but we'll see. We're just gonna pump out birds. So we have to pay attention to our life total. Raven Charm can take out their creatures and can also take out um, the makeshift munitions. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. All right, we have land, cycle for the... Hmm, I guess I just keep play the land as a, a planes. Interesting. I'm not sure what to do. I want to be able to get the familiar down. Trying to figure out how I can make this into dust to dust mana. And we found the dust to dust anyway. So I'll play the land. Cycle this. Grabbing the duel. And passing the turn. Then we'll play the duel and pass. And then fetch 
um, a planes and then try to go for dust to dust and hopefully they just don't have negate. Plays a refurbished familiar. I'm gonna discard the familiar. Play a floodplain past the turn. Opponent has some more lands in play. They're going to play another refurbished familiar. I'm gonna sacrifice and grab a planes. Suppose at this point I want to just get rid of the Thraben Charm or the Brainstorm. I think it's gonna be the Brainstorm. Maybe the Thraven Charm. I guess it's the Charm. It was a Mirror Enforcer, so nothing mattered. It's in. All right, so next turn we can go for... Um, I'm going to get rid of Mountain and Mirror Enforcer. I mean, not Mountain, Great Furnace. So next turn I have Drifter Ephemerate. And then taking four right now. Hopefully they don't have a Negate. Could also just Brainstorm... I think I have to just try for the Drifter. Okay. They're hard on the Refurbished Familiar right now. Ephemerate, does it resolve? It does. Okay, and now Brainstorm can maybe fix up the hand so we can try to find a way to get them with a Gorilla Shaman or something. We're gonna go to 10 here. I'm not going to block with the Mole Drifter. I, need, I want to keep the Ephemerate in my deck and draw an extra three cards. So let's ephemerate the mole drifter. See if we can find a dust to dust and a familiar. Start with a brainstorm. We have a bunch of stuff. We'll get rid of the perilous landscape and an island. Play my island. Play a sunscape familiar. Now I can snap this thing. Play another familiar. Play a seed oracle. Then they just cast it back though. I'll just. Cycle for the mountain. You can snap this and then just play the Seeky Oracle or just play the familiar. I just don't want them to use it. We are not in a good spot because we have too much uh too much non-blue mana. Plays an island. They're gonna get in, snap this one, tap my lands, and a block, then I will flicker, draw a bunch of cards. So the uh, discard is not going to matter very much right now. Let's see what we want to discard. I guess I'll discard Seed Oracle. So right now I can cycle this for another island. Okay, I'm trying to think this one through. So we can just play our Cam Answer, grab the Dust to Dust, and then just Dust to Dust their lands, playing the island. Dust to dust your blue lands. Then we're gonna block. And then next turn we go Mortuary Mire, get it back. We win the match. Okay, we're good. Cool. Somehow we won. Our mana was really clunky. We'll see in round two. All right, we're on the play. Round two versus, I don't know how to say that. We have to mulligan this hand, only one land. Okay, we have pretty decent lands. We got a meeting of minds and a snap. I think I keep this and just get rid of one meeting. We don't know if we're gonna need the snap or not. Play the faithful and pass the or a flood plane and pass the turn. I'm talking like all crazy right now. Okay, abraded bluffs means this is probably a Boros deck. Play the land, pass the turn. I don't think I want to snap, so I'm just f6ing here for value. Plays a Thraben Inspector, getting a clue, and another abraded bluffs putting me to 18. Another arcane answer is not very good. We're gonna play the Seagate Oracle here, and then let's see what we get. Finding a perilous landscape, so I think I would rather have that than the Lorien Revealed. I'm not sure. Maybe the Lorien Revealed is better because eh, I'll take the landscape. Cannot currently cycle or pet play it. They're gonna bolt my Seed Oracle. Okay, it's dead. Plays a novice inspector. Another novice inspector. They're going wide. Here we get hit for one. Um another landscape. Let's cast Meaning of Mines. I just, I felt like I just could just cast it there. I don't really care. <clears throat> so now we have a familiar. A Glenhawk picking up a land. Okay. Plays Bushwhacker. That's sort of what I was afraid of. I should have kept the snap. That's a lot of damage. Is it lethal? We go to six. Okay. Let's go land. Sunscape familiar. Snap this Glenhawk. 
untap, untap, play Archaeomancer, grabbing, I guess, the snap, pass. We have defenses, but not great ones. Currently are at six. Play land, cracks a clue. They're attacking. Does this mean they brought, let's see, we're dead to Galvanic now? Okay, we're at four. Dead to Galvanic. Suck. Okay. Clunky mana base, not paying off. All right, and I guess I just didn't play around the Bushwhacker. But we want the Hydro Blasts uh, over the other spells, I think. We don't really need the Lose Focus or anything else. Uh, let's just run it like that. Maybe Nature's Chant is good. I don't know if they're playing something like um, Raven Charm in their deck. Okay, we have the Faithful. So I'll go Floodplain and then play Faithful, play the land. Brainstorm looking medium at this position. That uh, Bushwhacker was pretty big. Boros Bushwhacker. Play the Floodplain, your turn. Rustvale Bridge from the opponent. Play Island, play Faithful. Pass. They play Novice Inspector. Okay. I'm going to jam a Brainstorm in case I draw something that I want to use. Okay, we find Seagate Oracle. So we'll put back Hydroblast, Arcane Answer. We're gonna draw the Arcane Answer. They land. They have the Seagate Oracle, and we could potentially pick up the Hydroblast or something else. Hydroblast or Murmuring Mystic. I think I would rather have the Murmuring Mystic. Pass the turn. Seems like our opponent's stuck on one land. Sad for them. They play Glinthawk, so they're going to pick up their land and replay it. What are the odds that they have a Pyroblast? Oh, they pick up the Clue instead. Interesting. Um, I can just play the land, snap the Glinthawk, play the Arcane Mancer, getting back the snap, and that sets them back quite a bit. And then if this resolves and the Murring Mystic resolves, then we get to just play the Murring Mystic, run it, and, uh, Start going off with meaning of minds. Grabbing this snap here. All right, the windows are flying. Let's pass. We're one away from being able to cast meaning of minds at the moment. Play an ancient den. Plays a Thraben inspector. They finally found their second land. They called deal with the rebirth. So they're probably looking at bushwhacking. Okay, this is good. Play the chancery. Pick up the planes. We'll snap a token, gain a life, untap, play the Murmuring Mystic, and now I can pass the turn. I have protection with the Ephemerate. I also have Meeting of Minds ready. So even if they bushwhack this turn, which it probably won't be the case, we can just Ephemerate the Arcane Answer, get back whatever, and Meeting of Minds. Okay, they're swinging in. We're going to kill this one, this one. We'll just block like this. It's whatever. So their two tokens die. I could have double blocked um, something. Let's cast Meaning of Minds first. Okay, they just scoop. That's fine. So post board, huh? We definitely need the Hydro still. I don't know if there's anything else I need to change. Singleton Thraven Charm to clean up the board later on. Maybe I don't need that. Maybe it's just better to have... I guess I could like try to dust them out. <laughs> I don't know if that's good either. Hmm. Plenary going wide. The Thraven Charm is a one of. Let's just get rid of the Thraven Charm and then bring in a Nature's Chant so we can mana screw them. Submit. Okay. We have turn three familiar snap. Arcane Mancer, get back the snap. All right. Careless Landscape doing an Evolving Wilds impression here. Play it. Hmm. That's the turn. I guess I could cycle for the dual land and play that right now. Wow, they are going to pick up their land. Okay. Let's cycle for an island. I'm happy that you did that because I'm just going to snap your creature. Land. Get rid of your creature. <laughs> and now I get to actually brainstorm. Put back Mancer. Chancery. I don't think I need the Arcane Mancer right now. I'm kind of far from casting it. I am going to get the planes because this allows me to just play the familiar next turn and pick the planes up with a chancery. You play a Thraven Inspector. Well, let's go familiar. 
by the Chancery and pick up the planes. So far, I haven't been able to cycle the landscapes. I kind of feel like that's almost never going to come up. They're getting in. They have... They could maybe use something like uh, Galvanic if they have one damage on the familiar, so I'm just going to not block. Two mana. Oh, they could Thraven Charm my creature too. Didn't consider that. They Glenhawk, they're going to pick up their tap land, play the land again. We'll go land. I'll play familiar, or faithful, I mean. And then play the Seagate Oracle. Holding up the Ephemerate. Right now they can use Thraven Charm to try to kill a creature. They have a Pyroblast. Unfortunate. So next turn we have Sunscape Familiar plus Mystic plus Meaning Mines. Depends what they do here. They have four cards in hand. Right now they have Galvanic online. I'm going to block with my Familiar here because if they had Bolt and they could just Bolt it anyway. So the Galvanic was already online. He's going to Ephemerate the Familiar, try to keep it alive. If they Thraven Charm it, they don't. So they apparently apparently don't have any other removal right now. Plays a Glenhawk picking up a land again. Okay. I wonder if they have a Pyroblast. Let's Ephemerate the Familiar. Play the land. Play a Familiar. Attempt to cast a Murmuring Mystic. They have another Pyroblast. All right. Let's draw two cards. That's the turn. So next turn we have Arcane Answer, get Ephemerate, Ephemerate, get Arcane Answer for Ephemerate, cast Meaning of Minds, Ephemerate for Meaning of Minds, cast Meaning of Minds again. Assuming they don't have interaction. Once again, I'm blocking. Oh, I guess they could have Galvanic now, but they already have the land drop to make anyway. So it's already online. Of course, Sky Fisher, they can pick up the Novice Inspector. That they do, and they cast the Novice Inspector again. They have six power in the air. We have a Mole Drifter. Okay, we're going to Arcane Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. So I could Ephemerate for Snap. Let's just cast Meaning of Minds first. Draw two cards. Okay, let's Ephemerate. Get back the Snap. Play a Faithful. Snap a Bird. Untap. And then I can Ephemerate for Snap and go Drifter, Snap, Drifter, Snap. Or uh, Ephemerate for Snap. <laughs> He's wondering if I can't. <laughs> Opponent says, can't you just like draw lands instead of constantly drawing the nuts? I drew one more land than them. I think they're probably going to concede to this then. We're going to go Drifter. And we're going to draw some cards. <laughs> I don't know if it's the nuts. I mean, I felt like we were sort of behind. Oh, maybe it is the nuts. Let's go tap this, tap this. Draw some more cards. Perfect. Snap the Mole Drifter with this. Untap. I should have uh, tapped in a different way, unfortunately. I can go Mortuary Mire. Get back the Murmuring Mystic. And then go ahead and cast the Mole Drifter. All right, so now we have a Mole Drifter in play. Murmuring Mystic and Nature's Chant. I think we're doing fine. Double Ephemerate in Exile. Let's see, they crack a clue. I'm just going to F6, even though I could cast the Meeting of Minds. I don't feel like doing it. They attack us for 4 down to 23. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Are they going to have a removal spell for the Arcane Answer? Nope, they scoop. On to round 3. Alright, round 3, we're on the play again. This is working out. Uh, we have a fast snap, a fast Thraven Charm. I'm digging it. Let's see what we're up against. I would bet that we're up against Affinity. Or some deck playing bridges. Who knows though? I don't know this player. They have a burn avatar. Let's play this and pass. Oops. To do Chandra Dressed to Kill. They play a Great Furnace, so they could be on burn. Mm hmm. Plays Tomb Raider. Okay. So let's see how good my uh, Seagate Oracles and stuff are. Play this, pass the turn. Picking up this. Island. Next turn, we're going to go Familiar, Snap, Seagate Oracle, Ephemerate, maybe. We could also Familiar, Snap, Kill Your Tomb Raider. I don't think that's that great. They're going to get in for two. It'll be nice to be on the table at the moment. We find a Faithful. 
So that's a pretty easy plan now. Land, familiar, snap this, faithful, seed oracle, holding up the meeting of minds as well. Bounce this, doink, doink. Have all my mana, faithful, seed oracle. We get to draw a card. Finding Lorien Revealed or Island. So is there any reason to take the Lorien Revealed here? I don't think so. I think we want the untapped land. And I'll pass. Opponent plays a land. Tomb Raider comes back. They go Bushwhacker. Okay. Oops, I don't want to F6. So we're going to block. Pull this. Block. Block. And then cast Meaning of Mines. Draw. Go to 16 and then down to 14. We draw another meeting of minds. Okay, so I can just uh, dis damage, kill this thing. That's pretty sweet. My opponent's reading the card. Six damage on that. Uh, we'll attack with the Seagate Oracle. Then I'm going to snap it and then untap, cast the Seagate Oracle again, finding Counterspell or Perilous Landscape. I guess counterspell. I'm probably going to be able to draw into some lands. Okay, they're pretty blocked on the ground. Their Tomb Raider's gone. I probably didn't need to kill the Tomb Raider with the Thraven Charm, but I just felt like it was something I wanted to do, getting that 2x off the battlefield. Okay, they go Reckless Lackey. Two cards in hand. Implement of Combustion. Now anything they cast, I can lose focus. So I can just... Ephemerate on end step and then cast the loose focus. We can also meeting of minds, then ephemerate, which is even better. All right, meeting of minds. Boom, boom, boom. Draw three cards, or two cards, my bad. I'm just used to affinity. I was drawing three cards all the time there. Finding an Archaeum answer. Let's ephemerate this guy. If you have a response, I have the one mana loose focus. Not today. They're pretty hosed. We grab, uh, I want to grab the Meaning of Minds because there's more cards, but I guess the Seed Oracle is better. I'll just draw the Meaning of Minds. I like that card. I'm going to rebound them right here. Let's see what we draw. Another Arcane Answer and a Faithful. Let's go Faithful and then play Faithful, Arcane Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. Play the Chancery. We're going to F6. Uh, I think we win here, but we just have to find a way to win. So, like, they're pretty pretty blocked. And we're going to be gaining two life for everything we cast. They're going to draw a card off the Implement of Combustion. Going to two cards in hand. Plays a Tomb Raider. That's what I killed before, but now I just ignore. Maybe they Bushwhacker and concede. They're going to discard a Mountain. I like to see it. No attacks. We're going to Meeting of Mines. Draw. Okay, untap. So we've got so much stuff. Um, guess start on Arcane Answer. Grab the Meaning of Minds. I'm gonna just draw. Don't have a land drop. Play Familiar. Play a Seagate Oracle for one mana. Now I probably want to get. All right, let's get a Mold Drifter and they scoop it up. Can't get past. I love it. All right, so we have three Hydroblast, and that is basically it. Raven Charm might be useful, but probably not. Counterspell is kind of weak, and we don't need a third Archaeum answer. So we can consider cutting other stuff. Like, Hydroblast is an upgrade for the Thraven Charm. Maybe one is okay. And then I probably don't need the Ephemerate. Let's submit. Okay, we have to mulligan a zero lander. And we have to mulligan uh, a zero lander, and we're going to keep this one, but it's basically a not very good. Get rid of the Thraven Charm and the Snap. Looking to draw into some lands, and this Sunskeep Familiar really needs to be fixed. Old, old, uh, old border art on where it's white on white, kind of crazy. Let's go land past the turn. Find a brainstorm, so maybe we can fix up our hand. If they have a Cold the Rebirth, I'm going to Hydroblast. Looks like they do have it, so I have to do a bunch of clicks. All right. 
Da, 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 da. Casting the Hydra Blast, cast a counter, cast again, cast the card. Oh my goodness. Finally. So no creatures on the table for them. We did draw our one of one of our three of for the uh Hydra Blast, and they're gonna run out of synth for no value. Draw a meeting of mines, and they rip a pyroblast, which doesn't help them. Oh, that's bad. Okay. But play a land. So we have to draw through our uh brainstorm here i guess i probably want to wait until my tor turn and brainstorm again because we're currently brainstorm locked not good so the best card would be perilous uh like a plains or oh no they draw a mountain off of the crack they had double cladoth in hand get in all right so can we draw into a land we did play the land that's the turn looking pretty bad so we'll draw one of the familiars play the seagate oracle if that lives maybe we can find oh god we're dead i'm just gonna scoop let's draw some cards yeah that was nowhere near fast enough so i cannot keep a two lander we should have just mulligan harder submit maybe thraben charm is bad what am i gonna bring in instead Nothing. I'm going to keep it. Okay. All right. This is much better. We have Faithful. Cycle on turn two. Pass the turn. So far, uh, our red has done nothing. Our opponent plays a mountain and a reckless lackey. We could snap it, but I don't think that's going to be good. Maybe it's fine. What's our plan? We're not using the snap later. Like, we're pretty far from using the snap, so we might as well just tempo them. Play Faithful, ask the turn. Maybe they'll think that we have a Hydro Blast. Play a Synthesizer. Hopefully they don't find a land. Hopefully no lands in hand and they miss. Find a land. But we can freely block now. So what are they going to do? So I actually really like that snap play. Okay, Cold the Rebirth for no value. Okay. We're going to grab an island. And then on my turn, play Seagate Oracle. Okay, we can also snap a token, but I don't think I need to snap a token right now. Find flicker meeting. Take the meeting. Pass. I think I'm probably still not blocking with the faithful and just throwing the Seagate Oracle in front of stuff. They lightning bolt the Seagate Oracle, play a synthesizer. Finding a blast runner. Interesting. Gets in. I think I'm not I'm not blocking still. Okay, they didn't have a land. I'm gonna attempt to brainstorm for a land here. Down the land. Let's put back Manser Charm. Don't need the charm. Let's play the land. Our Seagate Oracle. We're going to pick up the Manser and pass the turn. So once again, I will try to block with the Seagate Oracle. They play a Synthesizer. Finding a Galvanic, which they cannot kill the Faithful with. But if they Galvanic right now, it kills the Seagate Oracle. So I'm just not going to block once again. I'll let them have their two damage face. They go face for two. Find a lose focus. I think I'm going to snap and replay the Seagate Oracle. So let's attack for one. Snap the Seagate Oracle. Go to 15. Untap. Cast it. Looking for a land. Finding. I could take the mountain and cycle stuff later, but I don't think that's good. Play the land, pass the turn. I have Meaning of Minds available. I also have Lose Focus. I'm not going to afford to block with both of my creatures because I have a counterspell for a bolt or whatever on it. All right, Coldo the Rebirth is going to get countered. Counter. Can't really afford for them to just continuously go wider and wider and wider. They play another land. Let's see if they Bushwhacker. Plays a Tomb Raider. Gets in for uh, five. Block here. I still feel like my faithful is good enough to keep. Play the Archaeum Answer. Grabbing, I think, the Snap. Do they have a Pyro? They have a Pyro. Okay. They land, pass the turn. We're at 14. We're playing a bunch of chick. We're playing basically a game of chicken about this Godfrey's Faithful. The Chain Lightning. They have Voldaren Epicure. Used a ton of spells. Okay, now they just. Feel like I'm going to block, I guess, so they just spam everything pre-combat. If they hadn't done that, we would have been two life less. 
We have a Hydroblast, Cast Meeting of Minds, draw some cards. Still looking for my um, Murmuring Mystic. Okay, I have a snap. Let's snap this. Get rid that off the table. It's basically a removal spell. Now I can pass. I have um, a block. I'll take three damage. Then I can Meeting the Minds with Hydroblast backup. Play the Lackey. One card in hand. We're going to get in for four, which is quite a bit. Still looking to draw into a Murmuring Mystic or, you know, any other creatures, basically. Uh, cast this. Let's draw. There's a Moldrifter and a Mortuary Mire. So we can Mire back the Arcane Answer and still have the Hydroblast available. Okay, they're going to discard. Discard's a great furnace. One card in hand still. My turn. Finding a perilous landscape. Let's mortuary mire. Get back the arcane answer. Maybe I should have played that post combat. Okay, mold drifter. If I played that post combat, then I would have been able to see more cards and potentially draw into a second hydroblast. But as it is, I'm drawing an arcane answer that I'm not going to cast this turn anyway. So yeah, that seems like it was probably not correct. So next turn we have familiar into arcane answer for maybe brainstorm, and then we can brainstorm and use the shuffle from the landscape. The Galvanic Blast, the Mold Drifter, I'm going to attempt to Hydroblast it. Having a bunch. Doink. I have no response. Discards a Blast Runner. One card in hand, plays a Synthesizer. And what do they find? Finding a Mountain. So once again, we're free to block. If they attack out with everything, we'll block the Lackey. They can't draw an extra card. All right, we'll take three. There's the Fjord, then I can cycle the landscape. Okay, let's go Familiar, play Arcane Answer. I think I'm just grabbing the Meeting of Minds. Play the Volatile Fjord, passing the turn. It's gonna be the first time that I've ever cycled a Perilous Landscape. Looks like a Bushwhacker to me. Okay, nope, they're gonna crack a Synthesizer. Deal to this, they find a Mountain. So if the Bushwhacker happens right now, that's a big deal. You have it in hand? Blast Runner, okay. Looks like no attacks. Let's cast a Meeting of Mines. All right, draw a Mold Drifter. Um, one, two, three, four, cast Mold Drifter. More creatures on the table. Two, three, one, two, three. So I guess I'm not cycling the Perilous Landscape right now, and but instead I'm going to be casting a Lorien Revealed. Oh well. Okay, we find Arcane Answer. So we can go like, all right, I'm gonna go land, Ephemerate, get the snap, snap your Samurai to get it off the table, untap, and then I'll just play Arcane Answer and get the Meeting of Minds. Pass, and they scoop. Let's go to round four. Round four versus Debagon. Dabagon, 13. We cannot keep a no-lander again. All right, what do we got here? Did do. So, Volatile Fjord basically doesn't do anything for me other than cycle my land, which I don't really need. So I'm going to keep this and put back the Fjord. And then we don't have anything going on, so we've kind of got, like, sitting on this counter spell. Let's, let's see what our opponent's up to. Mermaid Mystic's clearly good. I play a Citadel Gate. Okay, so I think I Citadel Gate on red, so it might be Boros. Let's play the Chancery, picking up the island. If it's Boros again, I would feel pretty confident, but we don't have any uh, ways to do anything. I want to play a Seeker of the Way. All right, let's see. They're probably a deck that plays... All right, I'm going to pass. Huh, this is tough. If I just... Snap and play the Mystic, they could um, journey to nowhere it, but then they're down a turn. But if they don't have a if they don't have a journey to nowhere in hand, then we're super far ahead. So I guess I'm gonna take that risk. It sets them back a turn. I got my Mystic in play. If they have to journey to nowhere, they lose on their value, and then I can counterspell their Seeker of the Way and then cast Meeting of Minds on a later turn. They play a Seeker of the Way. Nice. Plays a land. Okay, <laughs> we can actually Thraven Charm and kill that right now. That's awesome. 
Deals damage. Blonk. Sick. Okay, that is how I drew it up, that's for sure. Get in for one. Okay, let's see what our opponent does. Plays Wedding Invitation. Um, fine. I could counterspell the Wedding Invitation, but they're probably going to have a lot more of those kinds of spells to cast, and I would probably just be better off counterspelling the Glint Hawk here. Okay, Hawk is gone. We can't cast Meaning of Minds at the moment. Let's see what we draw off the Meaning. We're losing out on three, val three damage, but I want to see if we can draw into some more stuff. And I still want to hold up the Ephemerate. Draw two cards, make a bird. All right, we cannot Drift or Ephemerate this turn. All right, we have four. I keep saying all right. Sorry about that. Let me know if that's all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Novice Inspector for the opponent. Now they can make their creature really big and give it unblockable for a turn with the Wedding Invitation. They crack the clue and draw a card. Okay, no attacks, obviously. But they still haven't made their fourth land drop. Wow. We're going to evoke a drifter. We're going to draw two cards. Meaning of minds. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Draw two cards. Ephemerate. Draw two cards. <laughs> okay. Love it. Airless landscape's looking good here. Play it. Uh, I think we don't need to do it right now, but it probably doesn't matter. So let's brainstorm. Put back the chancery and an island. Go ahead and grab an island. That was a heck of a turn. Nice. Okay, your turn. I'm done. <laughs> How did your 4-4 uh, four, four novice inspector looking? Our opponent's going to play a seeker of the way. So that can get kind of annoying because they can gain a bunch of life and then it'll be harder to close. But we do have a bunch of birds, so maybe that doesn't matter. I like to put my exile zone over here for ease of use. Let's ephemerate the mold drifter, draw a million cards. Okay, let's go familiar, faithful, murmuring mystic, gain a life, land, attack. They scoop! Too free. <laughs> I mean, they didn't make any land drops. It's turn seven. They're stuck on three lands. It wasn't too free. We just got lucky. Okay, post board. Um, so I think we need Raven Charms for their creatures and then Hydroblasts. Uh, maybe the Lose Focus is a little bit better than Hydroblast. And then we're not sure if they're on Relic or not but we'll just ignore it for the moment. So what does this hand do? Not too much, but it's fine. We have like Snap to play the Seagate Oracle. I don't know, it's probably fine. Our opponent mulligans to six, plays a red white gate in my floodplain. They play a Lendus, okay, and a Thraven Charm. So I'm trying to see if I want to just discard the hand size here. I have so many tap lands. I'm gonna pick up the floodplain and then discard the Arcane Answer. When it plays a core Skyfisher, picking up the Lembus. And we just have nothing going on. I will play Mortuary Mire. And I don't I guess yes. I'm gonna not put that back. Plays the Lembus again. I'm gonna go ahead for and lose focus it here using my mana. See if they want a pyro. Okay, they decide not to pyroblast. Get in for two. They're gonna go for the pyroblast on my Thraven or my Seagate Oracle. We can just pick up the Mortuary Mire and get it back. Okay. Uh, I'll take the Familiar here. Get the Chancery. Pick up the Mortuary Mire. So many tap lands. This is just tap land deck. Okay, let's see. Plays a synthesizer, that's pretty solid. And a wedding invitation. Okay. It's in for two. We can murder their core skyfisher. Mortuary Mire. This time I get this back. Play Sunscape Familiar. Go ahead and attack. So the Thraven Charm, I can just try to use it in response, but then they can bolt my familiar, so I'm not sure if that's what I want to be doing. There's another gate. They're gonna journey to nowhere. 
Um, what are you going to target? Targets the familiar. Okay, I can get it back with a Thraven Charm. Let's see if they gate up their creature. They're just attacking for two. Let's go ahead and blast that enchantment. Destroy target enchantment. Donk. Blood Plane. Play the Faithful. And then I'm going to go for a Murmuring Mystic. See if they have a Pyroblast. All right, they've got a Pyroblast. Let's see if they have another interactive spell. I'm going to attempt to snap the Seagate Oracle. So if they have nothing here, we can kill their creature. But they end up... Okay. They counterspell the snap instead of blasting the Seagate Oracle, which is a bit of a mistake. But that's all right. That happens. We're at 16. So best case scenario for me, they just double gate their creature. Plays a Thraven and... Or Core Sky Fisher. Finds a Cliff Gate. Plays the Cliff Gate. Gonna get in for two. Bolt on the familiar and Olympus. Ugh. Okay. I think I want to Arcane Mancer and get back Snap, but oh, okay, that makes it easy. Go Arcane Mancer. Back the Snap. Let's go ahead and snap your Skyfisher. I could just snap double Skyfisher, but also just snap my Seagate Oracle. Murder your Skyfisher. Pass the turn. See if they want to attack. Plays a Synthesizer. Finds a Relic. Well, that's not great. Let's go for Ephemerate and see if they have interaction. Okay, we get the Thraven Charm so we can kill their creature. We're going to exile my Thraven Charm. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, we have to find our other Murmuring Mystic and beat this Relic, which is going to be annoying. Get in. They don't seem to have anything. I don't know why they didn't gate though. Play a Lembus and they go top. Lightning Bolt. All right. Unfortunate. Let's ephemerate. Nothing happens. Cycle for an island. Play the island. Play out the Seagate Oracle. Go back up to 15. Okay, I think I'm taking the Moldrifter over the Murmuring Mystic, unfortunately. And then I'm just going to blast their creature. They have a lightning bolt. It stuffs me here. They did not have it. So they can crack their synthesizer and then they'll later attack with their synthesizer creature. Okay, they relic away my Ash Barons. My Murmuring Mystic is on the very bottom of my deck. The synthesizer finding a Galvanic. I can use the Galvanic to take out the Faithful. They're going to Galvanic the Faithful before even letting the synthesizer create a creature. So Snap would kill their Samurai. Can cast a Mole Drifter. That resolves. Uh, I did not play a land this turn, so I'm just going to cast my Meeting of Minds. Right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't think it's worth it for me to just sit around and chump. Although maybe it was because I could chump and then they have to activate the Wedding Invitation. Because if they Wedding Invitation, now they don't have the Wedding Invitation and they can just attack in. So doing this to look for a land was probably a mistake. Darn. They go Lightning Bolt, putting me to 12. They have to tap out to attack with the Samurai and put me to... They crack their Relic. There's a land. This is 10 damage. Okay. So how many snaps do I have left in the deck? Three. No Thraven Charms left. All right, we're going to attack with everything. Then Flicker. I could find Snap or Nature's Chant to stay alive. We're drawing Blind off the Mold Drifter first. Finding a Brainstorm and a Land. I think any of those help us that much. I guess the Brainstorm. Maybe the Land. No, we're going to play the Burialist Landscape anyway. Brainstorm. Go to my Faithful first. Does that matter either? Probably not. So let's Brainstorm right now. Whiffed. Back this and this. That didn't really do anything. That was probably the wrong choice as well. Crack this. Should have put back that lands, obviously, but instead I put back spells like a crazy person. All right. Um, concede. So that's my fault. I tapped out. Ah, jeez. Okay. So we know they're on relics and wedding invitation. Bunch of uh, red stuff. Well, let's get rid of these. Bring in the Hydroblasts. 
the nature's chant. We're gonna do the Thraven charm. I probably don't need the Thraven charm at all. Let's go. Okay, we're on the play. Our previous hand had nothing going on. This one, I think I have to mulligan. Okay, let's keep this. Put back a Seagate Oracle. Play land. That's the turn. I think I'm going to end step a brainstorm. Trying to find lands. Okay, that worked out. So we don't need the Mancer. And we're far from the Mystic. But we could just take the Mystic. Or we can cycle for an island or a plains. I think I cycle for a plains right now. Mystic isn't doing that much right now. Okay, grab a plains. Draw a flicker. Pass the turn. Now hopefully we won't run into 600 Pyroblasts again. But what are you going to do? We'll just jam our Seagate Oracles. Seagate Oracle, that resolves. I'll take the Hydroblast. Blend its turn. So now we have another Seagate Oracle, and then we have a Hydroblast available because we can use the Perilous Landscape to pay for the Seagate Oracle. But they, they rip a Pyroblast. Okay. Do you want a Pyro right now, or do you want to cast a, some creature and pick up your Synthesizer? Pyro is important to them, so that's what they do. I think I'm just going to play the Landscape, cast the Seagate Oracle. Okay, I do like the Familiar here. So I was considering like hydroblasting the synthesizer, but now I want to play the familiar and then use that to handle the CE Oracle, like try to get some advantage that way. Plays a Glenhawk. I'm gonna attempt to kill this, which cause the Glenhawk will die. This will be pretty sweet if it works. Okay, they have a pyroblast. Darn. They pick up the synthesizer, finding Basilisk Gate. Plays the gate. Passes the turn. All right, we have Hydroblast, play a Familiar. I'm gonna snap the Seagate Oracle. I have the Hydroblast available. Right now I'm digging for my Mystic that I put away before. Looks like they're considering blasting or bolting. Another Pyroblast. This time they actually target the creature. We're gonna counter the spell. Doink, and tap. Play my Seagate Oracle again. Finding a Chancery. I would take that over the Perilous Landscape, picking up the planes. So let's see if our opponent wants to attack with a Basilisk Gated Glinthawk this turn. Bolt on the Familiar. Annoying. Just bolting everything. Jeez, okay. Uh, so, on my upkeep, sacrifice for an island. See if we can draw into a Familiar. Ah oh, man. Play this Landscape out. That's the turn. How many landscapes? We only have one left in the deck. Is there any use to getting the mountain? Probably not. I expect that they're gonna snap, they're gonna double Basilisk Gate here to try to kill me. Then I can snap their creature. Okay, it's a 14 power creature, but it's not on the table anymore. Dong. Okay, unfortunately they have a lot of power. So we're gonna grab another island and Hopefully we can find something to cast. I was sort of reliant on them not having that double bolt on that turn. I really needed that Seagate Oracle. Ryan Ephemerate, okay. We're pretty dead. They have a Synthesizer. We have no creatures and two flickers. Definitely sad times. Finds a Seeker of the Way. Cast a Relic of Regenitus. And Hawk enters the battlefield. And they pick up the Relic. So then they can go Relic into Seeker. Seeker, Relic. Now they have two creatures. We're dead. Get rid of my land in the graveyard. I don't see a way to come back here. Maybe Drifter Ephemerate can do something. Draw land, draw familiar. All right, we'll see you in round five. We're here in round five versus uh, Blyco. And I think I need to mulligan this one. I just feel like my deck isn't really doing anything in particular. Guess we'll keep this and get rid of Orion. Let's see what they're up to. I should have put back the flicker. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, they are on Infinity. <sighs> um, play my land, that's the turn. Kind of expecting them to go Sneaky Snacker or the Rat pretty soon. So I probably wanted to discard a Chancery. 
Maybe I should just brainstorm anyway. I play a blood fountain and a thought cast. Let's brainstorm and a murmuring mystic. Back this and this. Okay, can't do anything on my upkeep. But I can play a perilous landscape, bracket for a plains, and pass the turn. They play a refurbished familiar, so I'll discard my landscape. Plays a land, fear enforcer. Uh huh. Find a snap. I can play the chancery and then pick up my land, snapping a mirror enforcer and play my Seagate Oracle. And next turn I can play the Murmuring Mystic, finding a Mole Drifter and a Familiar. So does a Familiar do anything? Familiar probably has higher upside. Ain't having to choose. They Thought Cast. I think that in this metagame, maybe the Modern Age Familiars would be better. With the uh, Jeskai mana base, I'm not really sure. They have a Great Furnace. Plays an Icker Wellspring. Okay. Blood Fountain again. Gets in for two. Or we go to 18. Raw. Okay, so we can go Familiar, Snap, Murmuring Mystic. Snap this thing. Untap. And actually attack for one. Then Flicker, then Murmuring Mystic. So that way, if I draw. Meaning of Mines, I can cast it. Flicker here. What do we get? Another Seagate Oracle. Let's cast Murmuring Mystic here. One who plays a Mirror Enforcer. They're paying two mana. Okay, it looks like they have cast down for the Murmuring Mystic. Nope, they have a Reckoner's Bargain. They got a 21. Brought three cards off that and the Acre Wellspring. Playing a Frogmite. What? Okay, so they don't they don't believe in the snacks. They don't believe in the snack attack. Get in for two. All right. I kill my familiar. Yep. Plays an Icker Wellspring. So I'm gonna go ahead and Seagate Oracle. See if I can draw into um something. I'm gonna lose focus. Guess that's okay. Another murmuring mystic would be all right as well, I guess. We're at 16. Probably going to take six this turn. They deadly dispute their wellspring. Okay. Plays a land. They have four mana available. For some reason, they swing in with everything. They will block here. Makeshift munitions. I will attempt to lose focus. See if they want to pay. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Surely they will pay. They paid the two. <sighs> okay, I'm going to scoop. We're pretty behind. I don't have any card draw. I'm trying to consider, like, what is this deck missing? I think it's just that the Murmuring Mystic isn't doing anything, and we should go back to the Modern Age. All right, we need all these cards. The Hydro Blasts. Nature's Chant. Cut, cut, cut this. Murmuring Mystic. One loose focus. In general, the Brainstorm has not been very good here. Uh, a lot of times it would have been better as a preordain. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, um, keep, I guess. We don't have the, uh, just go, Yord go. They play a bridge. All right, I found my other basic, so I can play this and pass the turn. So I don't, or my single, oh, that's the planes I was going to search up. Oh, no, I can't cast snap. <laughs> Uh, I realize now that I don't have a second way to get um, planes because I can't can't search a planes. Grab an island, and I'll cycle this for an island. If he has um, a pyroblast right now, I'm pretty hosed. I mean, island. So I guess I can't play into the pyroblast. What am I gonna do? I have nothing in my hand. I have to play into a pyroblast here. That sucks. That sucked a lot. <laughs> Can you imagine how much better my hand would have been if I had Modern Age in it? Like instead of Brainstorm, and I didn't even have Brainstorm in my hand, I guess. Perilous Landscape not being able Oh, I can cycle it now. Uh, that works, I guess. A Deadly Dispute. I should have just cycled it. Uh, we have a Gorilla Shaman. Let's see if that'll resolve. Do you have a Hydroblast? And a Pyroblast in hand. He did not. Clear Land. Clear land, clear treasure token, <laughs> the galvanic it. 
Okay, they're down to one land. Was that enough to stuff them? Seems no. I need to find something. The Murmuring Mystic in play. Okay. I have a clock. Pass the turn. My Mystic will survive with my Ephemerate. They had thought cast. Now if I find Dust to Dust, I can snap Bird or the token or whatever. Okay. They're going to make me discard. Discard Perilous Landscape. Sad. Plays Mirror Enforcer. Okay. So let's Nature's Chant this thing. And I'll go ahead and attack. Obviously they can block. They just they decline to block. Okay. I'm looking to draw into a Dust Dust as soon as possible. But I have nothing going on. As a Mirror Enforcer. Classic. Wellspring. Okay. Plays a land. And that's it right now. Okay. So I'm attacking. I don't know why they're not blocking. Doesn't make any sense. They can just buy it back. Okay, I'm going to block here. A deadly dispute. My gir my sad, sad gorilla shaman. My deck basically doesn't work if I have if I don't have multiple draw spells in hand. Okay. An arcane answer. Arcane answer. Try to get back the nature's chant, I guess. See if they have a uh, pyroblast. You can hydroblast. And now they're going to metallic rebuke. No, they just discard a card. Looking for another pyroblast. But they did find it. No, there's the Metallic Rebuke. Okay. You got me. I will attack. I really have nothing going on. My deck is functioning poorly. I think I want to go back to the Modern Age. I'm not going to block either. I don't even... I don't know. I'm just doing stuff. <laughs> it's not going very well. Okay, they play a land. I haven't been able to make land drops or uh, really get anything going. But luckily this is the last match, and so I won't tilt drop. They get back their familiar. Oh, the mirror enforcer and the familiar. Yep. Plays the familiar. We're gonna get rid of snap. Find a meaning of mines. Draw. Now I find the dust to dust. I'm right this right now. More blockers. That's the turn. They're getting in. We're gonna go block, block, block. Nah, I won't block that one right now. I'll just block this one. All right, we're at 10. We're just going to cast another rat. No, Wellspring from the opponent. Very, very resilient deck is Affinity. Very resilient. Another Wellspring. Yep. My Dust to Dust, if I had had a second planes, could have been awesome. But I did not have a second planes. We're going to attempt to counter their red spell. They just have a second Pyra or Galvanic. I mean, I don't think it's that my opponent was doing anything special. I think my deck was terrible, but that's okay. GG. I have to say GG. Uh, wrecked. And, uh, I mean, it started out strong, and then it kind of fell apart. So, <laughs> that's all right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.